First down and 10, Alabama. They just continue to gobble up yardage. Leading 21 to nothing and in control here early in the second quarter. On the center this time is McElroy. Drops straight back. Over the middle. Passes caught by Ingram. Sets a tackle. 50, 40, 35, 30. Stumbling at the 20. Ball knocked out from behind. It rolls down into the end zone. And that's a touchback. That's a touchback. It'll go back to Auburn. Wow, what a huge what a break. play. What a huge play. Antoine Carter came up and knocked it from behind. About 20 yards. And it he was at the about the 20-yard line, and it just bounced its way down that far sideline. And that is the... And now you're getting a huddle. There's a fumble which went through the end zone. Therefore, it is a touchback. Auburn's ball, first down the 20-yard yeah. line. Well, either way, it doesn't yeah. matter because Auburn either recovered it or it went through the end zone. Regardless, it's a touchback. It doesn't matter either yeah. way. It's Auburn's ball at the 20. Big turnover. Big play right there for Auburn. Something goes good their way. That they is, get the ball on a turnover. That is just the second fumble loss for Mark Ingram in uh, over 550 career rushing attempts. Well, Antoine Carter did a great job. That time, El Toro Freeman missed the tackle yeah. after McRoy hit the sit-down route to Ingram about three yards. Could have been only a three-yard game. Second and a long five now. Slot, so check that. Four receivers to the each side. Newton steps forward. He's going to throw deep. He's got a man down there. It is cut! Touchdown, Auburn! Emory Blake! 36 yards! He bobbled it as he crossed the goal line, but he held on, and the Tigers are on the board. What a play call right there, and what a play-action fake by Cameron Newton. That time, he took the shotgun, faked it, looked like he was going to run a quarterback draw, popped back up tall, and threw a nice go-route to Emory Blake for Auburn's first touchdown of the day. And now Byron to attempt the extra point with 5.08 to go here in the half. That kick is up, and the kick is good, and Auburn is on the board, 24-7, with 5.08 remaining in the first half of play. What a drive. That yeah. is a drive right there. When your back's totally against the wall, you got to come up with something. Great throw and catch right there. Ken Newton to Emory Blake. For Emory Blake, his sixth touchdown catch of the season, and he gets Auburn on the board, and the Tigers now trail by 17. Boy, and he bobbled that ball initially on it. You, you got to do that. I mean, a few drives today, Alabama's been uh, benefited from a uh, from a penalty, but but other than that, Alabama's dominated the game on offense and for the most part defensively as well. Minus one drive for Auburn, but Auburn's got to step up right here, show a little heart, and force them to at least a field goal. All right, here we go. This time they come out without Jones. Check that. He's to the near side now. Hanks is out to the far side. To Charvin Bell lines up against Jones. This time Ingram in the backfield. And they're just going to flood. Oh, he's not going to get the chance. Ball is loose. And Auburn recovers. McElroy got whacked. And Auburn fell on it at the 13, maybe the 12-yard line. Nick Fairley coming up huge. Put the, put the blast on McElroy and recovered the fumble. And it sat no. there for seconds and seconds. And Nick Fairley comes up with a huge turnover with 54 seconds to go in the half. That is big. And there's that zero as Fairley blew out Anthony Steen at right guard. And here come the Tigers from the 12 with 54 seconds to go in the half. Boy, that was huge. Oh, right was there. it ever. Newton directs traffic, waiting for the snap. Makes that handoff, steps back. Wants to throw, goes downfield. Zachary makes the catch, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Auburn! 70 yards! Exactly what this offense needed right there. A play-action fake, and he rose out to the wide side, and he hits Terrell Zachary. And I tell you what, Zachary did a fantastic job of pulling that ball in because the safety was right there, and he kept his feet. 
and he went for the touchdown. Now we got a ball game. West Byerman to attempt the extra point. Auburn strikes in 56 seconds. Place, kick, it's good. 24 to 14 with 14.04 to go in the third quarter. And now Auburn's made it a ball game with their offense. Now it's time for that defense to step up as well. No question about it. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. Two plays. You just said it. You got it out of your mouth. Not a good first play. And then they come right back. <laughs> and it was a great play by Terrell Zachary because the ball was actually floated a little bit yep. too high from Cam Newton. And Terrell Zachary just took it away. Newton. Gives it. Michaela bounces it outside. First down. Crosses the 35 and pulled down from behind at the 33. C.J. Mosley disrupting the balance of Michaela, but uh, Omak picks up 11. And watch now for the fake on that and hitting Emory Blake on the quick screen. That's what they do it off of. Good job right there. First and 10. They'll give it to Michaela again. Same play. 25. Michaela 20. 15 and out of bounds. Hit hard at the 13-yard line. D. Milner, but it's a first down. Michaela gets right back up after picking up 20. Uh, Gus Malzahn has seen something. That's twice in a row they did that, and Michaela was able to cut it up inside and get another first down carry. Auburn's in the red zone for the first time tonight. Second down and five from the uh, seven and a half. This time Fannin in motion. Newton takes the snap. He's going to roll right. He's got Fannin wide open at the five. He's down to the one. That's a first down and goal for Auburn. Six yards of the play. That's Lester a play with call. the tackle. That's a play call we haven't seen this year. Mario Fannin basically comes across the formation, goes into the flat, reminiscent of maybe a two-point play. Just going out to the flat. Cam Newton throws it to him. Nice pitch and catch inside the one down to the one. Let's see if they'll just send Cam over the top here. First and goal from the one. Newton waits for it, takes the snap, takes the handoff. He dives in. Touchdown, Auburn! Cam Newton from one yard out. 4.25 to go on the third. And the Tigers, an extra point away from making this ball game a three-point difference. We have ourselves a ball game, ladies and gentlemen. 14 unanswered in the third quarter for this cardiac Auburn football team. They will not give up. Extra point attempt from Byron. This is a big one. Kick is up, and it is good. 24-21, 4.25 to go in the third quarter. The first rushing touchdown allowed by this Alabama defense at home this season. Jones again lines up to this near side. This time Mays is in the slot. Third down play. McElroy looking left all the way, flushed out of the pocket. He is in trouble, and he is ripped down back of the 15-yard line by El Toro Freeman. Well, what a huge stand right there by that Auburn defense. Forced a three and out. They have to come back on the field in horrible field position due to the fumble, and they hold Alabama to what would be a field goal, about a 32-yard. Here we go. Fourth down and about three. Cam Newton in the shotgun. Fannin lines up to his right. Auburn needs the 44. Two receivers to each side of the field. Now they'll bring Lutz and Kirkin out of that slot, and it looks like they're going to pooch kick now. Newton takes the snap. No, they're going to go for it. They're going to throw far sideline. Adams makes the catch on the Auburn boundary at the 39-yard line. That's huge right there. They tried that before. They line up like they're going to do a little pooch kick, and they tried to go for it before in the game. It did not work, but this time works to perfection. A little comeback route to Darvin Adams. Eight yards and a first down. Picks up eight. First down and ten. Now from the Alabama 39. Cam's going to keep it. Around right in. 35. 30. Near sideline and out of bounds. That's a first down all the way to the 26-yard line. Picks up 12. Boy, this offense is starting to get rolling a little bit right there. Got a little confidence in the third quarter. That time, Ken Newton keeps it on the end around all the way down to the 26-yard line. Dyer in the backfield with Newton now. First down and 10 in the Alabama 26. 
They'll give it to Dyer. He gets to the outside. 20, 15, and out of bounds he goes at the 14, maybe the 13-yard line. Will Lowry runs him out. 13 on that play, and that's another first down. Another first down carry over the right side again this time, and Alabama a little bit on skates now. Marcel Darius is tough getting up. Ball just inside the seven. Third down, and about three. Tigers down by six. Fannin in the backfield with Newton. Cam takes the snap. Looking for the receiver. He's got Lutzen Kirkin. Touchdown, Auburn! Touchdown, Auburn! Lutzen Kirkin. He threw it back across the field. Seven yard play. Touchdown, Tigers. We're tied at 27. What a play call right there. A little half roll to the wide side, and Philip Lutzen Kirkin sneaks out of the backfield, does a drag route across to the weak side, and a perfect throw and execution, and the guys grab, and Auburn is poised to take the lead. Josh Harris to snap it to Neil Caudill. There it is. Byram kicks it. And it is good for the first time today. Auburn leads 28 27. That 24 point deficit. A distant memory with 11.55 to go in the football game. The Tigers have the lead. But yeah, they were going to go for this either way. It doesn't matter if it was, you know, fourth and a yard or fourth and a foot. All right. Here we go, fourth down and uh, not even inches, I think, this time. The length of a chain. Alabama quickly to the line. Look for the quarterback sneak. And I don't oh, know he got wow. it. I don't, I don't think he that. got it. I do not know about that one. It's, it's all a, about the spot. It That's looks a, awful good. Uh, Auburn comes out from the bottom of the pile with the football. Freeman, they're going to spot it. That's when they clear the pile, we'll have to see. It, it would be a miracle if Auburn stopped them. Yeah. Because they only needed an inch or two. Yeah, and, and that's all they need is an inch. And, the, and just the yeah, spot Yeah, looking alone, at the spot yeah, on TV, it looks like the they've got it. alone got it for them. I tell you, then that's a tough one. That's a very tough one. Auburn got the surge, and the backers came right over. I'm not sure he got anywhere, but by the spot of it, it looks like he got it. Boy, what an awful spot, too. Yeah, that was a bad spot. Josh Bynes and company did a fantastic job with that surge. Very well could be four-down territory for Alabama here. Third down and 13 from the Auburn at 37. Down to two, down to one. They just get the playoff. Here comes pressure. McElroy is going down! to Charvin Bell! Slams McElroy down at the 40, and McElroy is hurt. Oh, and that's his right shoulder. I'll tell you what, being a quarterback, oh. I know how he feels. Alabama separated my shoulder in 1992. He got slammed down pretty hard right yeah. on it, and I think that's on his right shoulder. You never want to see a kid get hurt. It was a good, clean, hard hit by Tisharvin Bell, but you're right. McElroy came down hard. Yeah, and that was all due to the fact that McElroy had to get the playoff because the play clock was saying one second. And Auburn says, you know what? We only have an inch. We can't get an inch. We don't deserve to win this football well, game. you got to be careful now because it's going to get loud. you got to be up there and get set. Auburn literally inches away. And they're actually going to put Newton in the shotgun. Ice him in the backfield to block. Auburn maybe trying to draw him offside here. As the clock runs down. Nope. Newton leaps. He has it. Over the pile. And an Auburn first down with 3.08 to go. Wow. What a gutsy call, first of all, on their own 35-yard line, 36-yard line. And then they decide to go for it, and Newton dives over the pile. Going inside of three minutes now. They've got an extra set of three downs. 2.56 to go. Alabama with one timeout to use. They can get one more touch, or one more first down here. Game's over. One more first down. Third down and 10 now. 39 seconds to go from the 19. McCarron to throw again. 
Steps up in the pocket. Throws incomplete. Coming across the middle for Norwood. And it's fourth down and ten. Uh, Norwood had some running room on that one. Underneath drag route. McCarron couldn't do anything else but put it right where he put it. Norwood just dropped it. Boy, if you're Auburn, obviously you got You can't get beat deep, but you got to know the sticks. This is your ball game right here. 35 seconds to go. Fourth down and 10 for Alabama. Crowd, the Auburn crowd on their feet in the north end zone. Here's your ball game. McCarron drops back. Throws, and it is incomplete. Nico Thorpe broke it up at the 25-yard line. Intended for Julio Jones. Auburn's going to win. Auburn is going to win. That is your ball game, folks. One of the biggest comebacks in Auburn history and Iron Bowl history. 24 to 3. 24 to nothing. Check that. 28 to 7 is going to be your final score. This Auburn football team would not be denied. Came to Tuscaloosa riding this train on to Atlanta next week with the possible stop in Glendale, Arizona, my friend. Oh. All Cam Newton has to do is come out and take a knee. There it is. For the eighth time in 11 years. And the Alabama players don't go out to shake hands. They run back to the locker room. For the eighth time in 11 meetings, Auburn defeats Alabama. And today, inside the walls of Bryant's court, Newton's law reigns supreme. Tigers 28, Alabama 27, a 24-point deficit erased, and Auburn finishes the regular season 12 and 0, and they go to Atlanta with a chance to play for a trip to Glendale, Arizona. Stan White, an unbelievable comeback. What a fantastic 24 to 0. Looked like all was gone, all was lost. An 11 and 0 season. They came in here and it was falling apart before our very eyes, Rod Bramlett. And they just would not be denied. They came out, they won the third quarter, they won the fourth quarter. And like I said, this train keeps on a rolling. And you know what? No one gave them a chance. The national pundits came through and say Alabama is going to win this game. There's no way you can go in to the defending national champion's lair and yep. win. And Auburn did just that. They won. And they can claim next week if they go into Atlanta and keep this train rolling that it's all, <laughs> we, we just do what we do. <laughs> Lock and load, my friend. Tigers 28, Princeton tied 27 before the game. Just like we did two years ago, we asked everyone just to believe. It was hard when it was 24 to nothing. It was real hard, but you kept believing. You kept thinking that there's still a chance with number two leading the offense and number 90 leading the defense. You just had to go back to what we said all along. All this team does is win. Auburn is unbeaten. And they stay there. And they stay there. And they stay there. Down, down, down. Cause all I do is win, 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 win. And if you go in, put your hands in the air. Make them stay down. They'll give it to McCaleb around left end. McCaleb, 35 for a whole 40. 45, 50. Foot race to the 20, to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Auburn. They're going to run the Wildcat here with Cody. He's going to throw. Cameron Newton is the intended receiver in the end zone. Did he catch it? Yes! He'll just hand it off to Dyer. Has a hole. He's across the 20. He's gone. Look at that burst of speed. Shot out of a cannon. There goes Cam. 15, 10, 5, 9. He's in. Wow. Touchdown, Auburn. Auburn wins. Just win, baby. Win. All I do is win, win, win. No matter what. I got money on my mind. Auburn has won the West, and they're going to Atlanta. And they stay there. And they stay there. And they stay there.